today we're going to sign up for a collegeboard.org account. So the first thing we're going to do is open our web browsers and in the address bar type in www.collegeboard.org. And when we get to the home page, we're going to look in the bottom left hand corner in the purple box and click students. This will direct us to the students home page. We're going to go on our left hand side in the blue box that has the header my organizer. We're going to click on the link sign up. This takes us to the create the account page. Please, as you create your College Board account, be as complete and accurate as possible. You can have only one College Board account. Therefore, it is important to get the information correct the first time. As we type in our name, we're going to make sure that the first initial of each name is capitalized. So for Jane West, her first initial J, D, and W will be capitalized. Fill in your gender information as well as your zip code. Your date of birth is used to identify your information, so it's very important that you put in the correct month, day, and year of your birth. High school graduation is June of the year class and your uh, email address must be accurate and accessible. That means you must be able to sign into your email account. Before I make my account on College Board, I'm going to double check that I can sign into my Gmail account. So I'll type in my username and password. And once you sign in, you know that you have access. So you can go ahead and add your email account. And they ask you to confirm to make sure that your address is correct. That's how important this is. Underneath that, you'll see two check boxes. The first is for monthly newsletters and alerts. This helps you stay on track with your deadlines. It also sends you emails to remind you about important events coming up in your area or just different to-dos you should be thinking about. If you worry about spam, then you can go ahead and check that. However, I do suggest that everyone signs up for the official SAT question of the day. It takes about five seconds to read the question and come up with an answer. And it help really helps you prepare little at the time, helping you become more accustomed to the questions that the SAT asks. Even if you don't check your email every day, just make sure you check about once a week, once every other week, and do those few questions and you'll find yourself in a much better place to take the SAT. Again, as we go forward, we want to make sure all of our information is as correct as possible. So we're going to enter our parents' information. I, we want to make sure everything is spelled correctly and has the correct information. So a capital J, a capital D for John Doe. The email address for your parent is very important as well. This just helps them stay in touch with the expectations of what of the tests and what you should be doing. It also allows them to be a part of the college planning and college search experience. If you do not know your parents email account you can go ahead and leave this section blank. See seeing a parent, the quest first qu checkbox underneath. This is important emails from College Board, registration receipts, test records. 
If your parents are helping you in the college process or your guardian, whoever, you can definitely check that. That's probably the uh, one I would advise everyone to check. Next is the monthly newsletter and alerts. This is advice for parents to help you in your search. If you talk to your parents ahead of time, you can check that if you think it would be helpful or if you know your parents would like it. Otherwise, you can leave it blank if you're worried about spam mail. And the official SAT question of the day. This way they can tell you if you don't sign into your email account and you can discuss the answer with them. I do suggest it if it's okay with your parents, but it is one you need to get permission for. Otherwise, it can overload an inbox. I'm gonna check that here. Create a username and password. Your username should be as professional as possible. So I'm going to use Danielle Costa one Your email address should be, or username should be as, your username should be as professional as possible. So I'm going to use Mrs. Danielle Costa to match my email account. Oh, that's too long. Your username must be as professional as possible. So I'm going to use Mrs. D. Costa. Your username must be as Your username must be as professional as possible. So we're going to make this as our full names or our email addresses, the our names and our year of birth, our passwords. Again, this must be something that you remember. If you have a general email, uh, a password that you use, I would suggest using it here. Otherwise, you can use something like 123ABC456. And this, although it sounds like a very general password, is actually very good against hackers. Security question, use whichever of these questions you are most likely to remember. I always suggest the city where you were born. This is because it doesn't change. Where if you think of something like the name of your first pet, you may in 10 years, right now, think of Fluffy and in 10 years, think of someone else. I lot. Next, you collect, you choose your security question. For this, I suggest using anything that you will consistently use in the future, such as the name of the city we were born. And to finish up, we choose who is finishing the form, and that is a student, or if you were doing this with me, a counselor. If you're doing it with your parent, and if I have any parents or educators out there, you can fill out these. But this is a walkthrough for students, so we're going to go ahead and do student and counselor teacher together, since I'm probably here with most of you. Agree to the terms and conditions, and go ahead and submit, and you will have yourself a College Board account. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at Mrs. M R S dot Danielle D A. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at Mrs. M R S dot Danielle D A N I E L L E dot Costa, C-O-S-T-A, 
at gmail.com. Thank you.